Do people view ENFJs as kids? Before I can answer, please subs uh, please consider subscribing to the channel so the war between vampires and werewolves will at last come to an end with Kate Beckinsale redefining her life by working for Disney and hit the alert bell uh, so you can be notified when I go live. That being said, what's up, Eco Hackers? I'm C.S. Joseph, here to respond to your questions on anything Jungian analytical psychology or the four sides of the mind. And the source of today's question is just uh, Jessica Truong. So let's take a look, shall we? All right, so we have uh, Monica Naomi Boaz, hardcore INFJ, uh, responding. It depends, I guess. The ENFJ's greatest problem is naivete, childish stubbornness, and hmm, how to say it there too, often too much positive not realistic enough, at least from my INFJ point of view. I think you're describing ENFPs here. Same as INFPs, they tend to live in their fantasy world. That's true. Not exactly in the here and now. True. For that reason, ENFJs are usually nice people, but since they are overly emotional, they can be hard to deal with. And if you have different personality traits. Now, are ENFJs like kids? No. If they develop their inner mature self and they work with their emotions to take control over them, uh... From my uh, point of view, INFPs and ENFJs share many similar childish features, so probably they will understand each other uh, much a lot. Since I can only speak about ENFJs I know, ENFJs should more often listen to some figures of authorities in their lives, people who are more adult-like in their personalities, who are more serious and more goal-oriented. Without it, this carefree child inside of ENFJ will always gravitate towards emotionally driven life choices kind of. And as it's known, the worst way to deal with life is to take decisions when you are on an emotional high. Fair enough. Uh, however, really mature ENFJs are not childish. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, none of these responses help, so I'm just going to downvote all of them because these are not helpful responses. So, We'll just get to it uh, here. Now, now the uh, C.S. Joseph uh, response. Do people view ENFJs as kids? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, let's, let's talk about my dad. My dad's an ENFJ. And my dad, like, he is the biggest little kid you ever seen, especially when it comes to Christmas. And he, this is a guy who likes volumes of presents underneath the tree, if you know what I'm saying. Volumes, right? Whereas me, I'm just like, I just want that one thing that I need to make my life easier, and I'm pretty happy, even with just that, like, one thing that I'm looking for. And I'm cool with that. But my dad, like, he loves volumes, and he's always shaking. Gotta shake the little present here, shake it here. You know, what's inside? You know, it's like... Christmas is like a big deal to my dad. It's like a really, really big deal. And it's a big deal for him to give so much to other people. And he childishly gives to his children and his wife, my mother, and, and everyone uh, in his family that's uh, joining him on Christmas, for example. And uh, he thinks that what he's giving them is exactly what they're looking for or whatever when it's really not. But we still love them anyway. You know what I'm saying? But... It comes from extroverted sensing child. It just wants to give everyone uh, great experiences and make everyone so comfortable around them at all times, right? And a lot of people have a hard time with extroverted sensing child because it's like, wow, you're really childish or wow, you're really naive because it's just so out there. The thing is, is that all of the 16 types are actually very childish with their child function. It is their inner child. The thing is, is that ENFJs like ENTJs have their child function on display and it's just out there and ENTJs though they're willing to kind of hide it sometimes because their expert thinking is aware of their status and reputation and they like okay it's not exactly appropriate for me to show my SE child all the time whereas an ENFJ has TE demons so they don't really care about that they don't care about their reputation or their status they just don't care so what they care about so they, they actually do put it on display and that ends up causing people to view them as being childish because of how out there expert sensing child is. Whereas like something like FI child or TE child or NI child, you know, those things aren't as out there so much. But with SE child, it absolutely is. And ENFJs are childishly looking for attention all the time. And uh, that's another reason why people view them as big kids, basically, be, you know, because of that. Because they just want to make someone feel good. They want to give them a good experience. They want to be able to command attention from those around them because of their performance. And they, uh, while they try to figure out how to be responsible for their decision making. Now, as an ENFJ gets older and they're able to develop their NI parent, their NI parent gets to a point where 
they're actually able to uh, you know make decisions more responsibly and then as a result that kind of puts their inner child in check and they're actually able to uh, you know pay more attention to that and protect their inner child in that situation which can go a long way for them something I definitely uh, recommend ENFJs you know consider doing be responsible with your freedom of choice etc so keep that in mind uh, but here's the thing also ENFJs just because you perform well for others just because you're so giving for others doesn't mean people are going to stick around and that's another issue with their naivete is that oftentimes ENFJs think that if they contribute or if they perform or be useful towards other people people will stick around Obviously, INFJs are far more sensitive to that because of expert in sensing inferior compared to the SE child of an ENFJ, but it's still a really big deal. ENFJs do have fear of abandonment, but it's not as bad as uh, INFJs. INFJs have extreme fear of abandonment, and it can be a huge problem for them on a regular basis, right? So ENFJs, please understand just how important it is to keep yourself in check in this area. However, at the same time, who cares what other people think? Live your life. If you want to be coming off as childish and very positive and giving people a good experience and making them feel comfortable within themselves, absolutely do that. You know, so uh, it's uh, it's very uh, important um, for that. Wow, Railgun just gave me a, a hamburger. That, that's like balloons and candy for for an ENTP me. You know, thank you, Petey. So anyway. I'm 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 gonna eat this hamburger, so I should probably like you know stop filming this video. I, I think that would pretty uh, go pretty far here. So anyway, folks, just keep that in mind. It's okay to be uh, you know childish with your child functions, and if anyone's slamming your child function, well then that's child abuse. This is why I don't make fun of my dad or tease him when he when he how he behaves on Christmas, for example, because that's his inner child. I give him that space. Now, granted. My dad tells me that sometimes I'm overly caring towards people that I shouldn't because shouldn't be because of my effy child, and that's kind of him stomping on my child function. So let's just stay away from stomping on each other's child functions, folks. We'd be so much better off in life uh, in in so many ways, and I think ENFJs out there would definitely appreciate it. Anyway, if you would like your chance at your question being answered on this channel, please post it on Core and tag me or leave it as a comment below. If you want a guaranteed answer for your question, become an ego hacker initiate at csjoseph.life forward slash members. Post it as a comment uh, on our initiate membership page for uh, the next month's uh, uh, live stream, and I'll answer your question uh, in the live stream or even during the live stream if you decide to show up. Anyway, with all that being said, folks, see you guys tonight.